hi guys uh, welcome to my new video i am shubhankar with you in this video i will show you how you can log your serial uh, data into uh, csv or text file right so uh, without further delay let's get started okay so first thing first i have to upload the uh, sketch into my arduino board arduino actual arduino uno board right so uh, my upload is almost done right okay let's open the serial terminal so after opening serial terminal i can see the log data right but uh, the problem of the arduino serial terminal is that you cannot um, save your data into csv or text file but you can copy your data into a separate text file that's not the point that's not our point we will save our data into csv or text file directly right okay for doing this uh, we need a software the software name is cool term the cool term the cool term software is actually very cool uh, so just download the windows version of the cool term okay i have to download it first okay just wait for the download to complete ah okay uh, my download is complete now so the good point about the cool term software is that uh, you know you don't have to install the software so the software is a portable version and just you have to extract the software after that you will use the software okay just open the software yeah Okay, this is the Cooltrum software. So I will um, uh, capture my serial terminal data from this Cooltrum software. So for doing uh, doing that, uh, um, before you have to close the, all the serial terminal that you opened up in uh, Arduino ID, just close it, right? And after that, you have to uh, go to the option window, and here you will find the um, serial port selection option, right? So in our case, our uh, Arduino is connected with the Comfort. Uh, com4 right so just have to select the comfort and about it is 9600 and rest of the parameters are okay and that's it and after that you have to go to the connection okay just go to the connection okay i have just maximized the windows and go to the connection and you will find the option capture to text or binary file and that's very important so we will uh, just press start and after pressing start you will uh, find the option to save your file right okay then i will save my file here and uh, i will name after the file uh, serial data dot txt okay that's okay now if i just press connect uh, my data will be logged um, if in using the cool term as well as my data will be saved in the text file right and that's a good, uh, good thing about the cool term think about a project you are doing a project and you have to log a data uh, for one or two days or three days uh, think about uh, you are just debugging your uh, project or debugging a serious issue or serious bug so by this way you can log your data in text file after um, after you will get the text file you can analyze your data where is my fault how can I improve my um, firmware or Arduino firmware so I think this is a good point and another point you can do, do that you can just um, open up your text file uh, using Excel so I will show you later in this video okay okay just uh, okay I think that's enough data to analyze right and so first you dis you have to disconnect uh, the serial terminal or after that you have to stop capturing right so just stop capturing okay and now i will go to the desktop and serial log so here's my data right so yeah right that's my data so now i have my data in text file so what i will do i will just uh, open this text file from excel okay i already opened up the excel so that i can show you this uh, demo just open and you have to go to the open after that you have to browse the file and just uh, okay uh, before that i have to copy the file location right just copy the file location Control c and then after that i will press browse okay now uh, this point is uh, important because you have to uh, show excel that this is your delimiter right so just select the delimited data and after that press next and what is the delimiter in our case we used comma to separate one data point to another that's why you have to select comma so if you use, uh, prefer tab you know data or semicolon any or space you can select that but for me it's comma is good enough okay after that press next and finish so now your text data you have imported your text data into excel file so that you can log your data and visualize your graph uh, data into a graph right so i'll plot data uh, now just wait 
and insert insert and in recommended graph i just prefer recommended graph okay i think that's not a good point because there is a noise for the first data just delete this one just delete from the first row in, in your case maybe you will not feel or you will not just uh, measure noise just try it and insert and recommended chart and now you will see that this is your log data right okay so you can plot your data you can analyze your data and now you can save your data in any format you want from excel so that's a good point uh, about capturing data using cool term right and just browse and after that you can select uh, csv format right i think uh, yeah csv format is good okay nice now you have saved your data into csv format and now you can okay now you can see your data from csv format okay i want to show you another trick uh, okay let's get started again just clear this one okay and start capturing data okay uh, this uh, this time i will name the file after okay test 2 okay and just connect you see and you now your data is capturing right so uh, the your data is capturing text uh, ts.txt2 now i would open this file using the um, actual sublime text software you see Now you see sublime text is also updating data in real time okay that's a good point you can uh, if you don't like the cool term you don't like the cool time gui i think sublime text GUI is more flexible so yeah okay that's cool thing and that's all uh, that's all about about our video, today's video and if you like my video uh, please subscribe my to my uh, sub, subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon so that you can get notification of new video and uh, don't forget to support me on patreon and if you uh, feel that um, making a video is uh, uh, just a, it, it need a lot of effort uh, you can support me on uh, patreon as well as in coffee and also um, just uh, um, if you have any question or if you have any suggestion uh, regarding future video uh, just comment the uh, comment under the video okay thank you very much